So during that uh, beautiful interlude, any thoughts come to mind with other questions out there? Yeah, we did get some other questions. Not too much about um, photographs. Uh, no, that's but, okay. Uh, that's okay. Um, but Diane is, uh, oh, sorry, David, I had first. David is working in a new area that's heavy clay. He's looking for a shade tree that's not like what everyone plants from Lowe's, but will adapt to the soil. Um, heavy clay. Yeah, heavy heavy clay is one thing. Wet heavy clay is another thing, because um, most of the uh, the the swamp oak family, like bur oak, um, what would we put it? Swamp white oak. Swamp white yeah. oak would be a, a good one, and you won't find one, many people planting those because they're not that easy to find. But they're out there. They are. They are definitely out there. Um, might have to think about that one for a little bit because. When people say heavy clay, they mean really heavy clay. Magnolia, believe it or not, does very well in, in restricted root spaces like that. Um, yeah. Uh, he says it does It does drain. Okay. All right, if the drainage is good and it's just a matter of clay, then any of the crab apples are going to do well there. Um, that sergeant cherry that I mentioned earlier would, would grow well there. Um, you could you could get one of the uh, beekeepers associations um, American basswoods, the American linden, that would grow there. What about the, this uh, is why we'll probably. Wood. What about mussel wood? I can't I remember. remember. I do not remember. What, it seems like yeah. mussel wood is an older older woods plant. Mm -hmm. Like it's going to come later. Um, and th this is one of the reasons that we have expanded chats. Is that afterwards when we read through the chat, I go, oh, we should also tell them this. Yeah. If I think of any others um, after the webinar. I can add them in there and I'll pop out with the names as we go along. Okay. Uh, now, Diane uh, has a, a very large bed of white dutia that are so thickly grown, I can't see the ground. Should I drastically prune this spring to make the plants healthy? I know I will lose flowers this year. Um, you can, you can definitely cut dutia all the way down to the ground. And sometimes I would do that. I would just wait till it blooms and then cut the whole thing down because it can get very ditzy to be reaching into this tangle of branches. Uh, and I'm assuming that you're growing Dutzia gracilis, maybe uh, uh, Nico, which is the low Dutzia. There are yeah. some that are three feet tall and some that are four feet tall. Um, but yeah, you can definitely cut them back and you'll lose this year's bloom. And then if you could keep up with them, if, if every year you just took out some branches so that there was some space, they, they grow as a... Uh, Think of them as kind of a tarantula type plant. They grow up and mound out and then they root from the tips of the branches and keep going from there. If every year you take a couple of the thick branches that are coming from the central part and just clip them there and peel them right out of the mix, there's room for new stuff to come and it and it stays neater looking and better blooming um, in the long run because they build up a lot of old wood underneath over time. Yeah. And it started looking gray with the gray of the old wood. All right, then we got some questions about uh, moving some uh, early stuff. So Julie says, can I move daffodils that are up six inches now? And if not, when? Definitely. You know, yeah. Julie, Julie, that's something that I was going to put into our, our pictures. I said, oh, well, you can dig them up. We do, you can dig them up right now and divide them and move them around. I always think it's the better time to do it because right now is when I know where I need them. Come fall, I walk around going, where were those daffodils that we already have? And, and uh, I put things on top of other things but definitely you can dig them up now they are if they're healthy bulbs they should be deep down so don't um don't chop them off don't yeah. dehead them yeah and, be, as be you careful go a little bit wider to go a little bit deeper first yeah. if you have to it's better to go deep and lift up and yeah cut them but definitely do that now um and then uh susan says some crocosmia did not bloom last year can i move them when they start to come up maybe to a spot with more sun Sure, you can move them and you can you can move them even before they come up. If you know where they are, go and dig some up now. Yeah. There's uh they're there. And it's a very distinctive root on Crocosmia. It looks like a looks like a bunch of uh nuts pasted together. <laughs> it looks like a chain of a chain of of almond colored uh filberts. And, uh, that's a terrible, terrible thing to say. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, it's a very distinctive root. You won't think you won't uh miss it for anything else. Okay, and I think that's all the questions we have for this session. Okay, um, so uh, we're trying to be ahead of Sonia reminding us that we have to talk about things like this. We're 
we're ending the webinar season three, April, April 1st is our last season three webinar. So starting April 2nd, it's, it's season four. If you'd like to be in this community, um, not just for the free webinars, but here all the time, then subscribe to season four. And thank you very much, those of you who, who jumped in and subscribed and told us you're going to subscribe already because it's knowing that there are enough of you there that, allow that, us that allows us continue. to continue to pay the what, what it takes to make this happen. Um, it's $225 for 27 new webinars plus uh, uh, with all four seasons together, you'll have 160 different recorded webinars that you'll have lifetime access to. As long as we're here and the website's here, it's going to be there. You can take an individual webinar this year. And all you have to do to subscribe, really, is send us an email that says, I want to subscribe. We'll send you the information. Um, there, is a, a, there is a description of all of this on the subscribe page uh, that you can get to from our homepage. But that $225, we're extending to everyone right now everyone who's listening right now mm -hmm. um, who's here today that's our renewal receipt it's 35 percent off what it actually costs when you get in the for, for the first time for a new subscriber yep and um the schedule for the season four and all the subs subscription information if you go to our homepage, page garden there's a schedule and how to sus subscribe link right at the top and click that one. And if you want to keep up with us out on the workshops that we're doing, we're pruning March 29th. We've got a lot of uh, appearances coming up as as public yeah. events are happening again. There's a, on the homepage, there's a check our calendar link. Click that one and it'll take you to our calendar. To what we may be 